What's up, guys? We're getting ready to go up to Gold Rush. We're going to drive up tomorrow. Oh, we're doing some. I'm doing some last minute packing right now. Um, making sure we get rods and reels together. I'm going to hit up the uh, hit up the store tomorrow morning. Get a few last minute items for the fishing. Get groceries and whatnot. As you can tell, a little bit of a mess right now. I'm trying to uh, got fishing rods, tackle, you know, power bait, etc. Right now, I'm trying to get that all ready. But, uh, yeah, we're getting ready to go up to Gold Rush, and stay tuned. This should be a good video. As you can tell by the phone, guys, this is pretty rare for, uh, for April, but I guess not up there in West Virginia. But as you can tell, that's, that's snow, and that's where we're going to be fishing, um, on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting this weekend, but, um, I just like to call for, like, They've already gotten some snow up there tonight, and uh, they're calling for a few more inches. But uh, let's see. Let's go over here to uh, what the forecast is. Um, come on, phone. But uh, yeah, I'll see. Um, Friday. High 36, slow 21. That's uh, tomorrow. And let's go to Saturday. Saturday. It'll be a little chilly in the morning, but it'll it'll get to the about it'll get to the 50s in the in the in the afternoon. So might be might have a little bit of a chilly start fishing on Saturday, but all comes with good fun, I reckon. Well, guys, doing a last-minute preparation here for Gold Rush. Um, excuse my brother there; he's playing possum back there, being a little, being a little annoying little turds. What he being? Yeah, we're about to go hit up the hit the store here in a minute. Go get some uh, last-minute tackle and whatnot. Um, shout out to my boy uh, Dow Twenty Four Forever. Uh, he's actually, uh, I think he said he's going to help us uh, stock a uh, cranberry tomorrow, and. Um, yeah, um, he sent me a good, uh, photo here, if I can get to it, get to it real quick, uh, um, let's see here, uh, uh-huh, hold on a second, guys, but yeah, that's the place where we're going, that's the place they stocked yesterday, and that's where we're going tomorrow. And that's all those gold trout that are in there. All that, all those yellow fish, those are all gold trout. So that's getting me hyped up. They said, said they put like 950 pounds of gold trout in there. So good lord, I don't know what that is. But they said they put like 950 pounds of gold trout in there. And well, the picture looks like that guy's got one with his fishing rod. So uh, I'm excited, guys. Let's see what happens. We hit the road first thing in the morning tomorrow, and. Uh, Get on these fish. Well, guys, we're about to hit the road here in a few minutes. We're going to be in the, um, I'll be heading to Cass. Hopefully, we'll be up there in a few hours. It's about a four hour drive to get up there. But yeah, I'll check in you guys up at the river. Question Do y'all bring your snake on your fishing trips? Because obviously, my brother does here. I mean, look at him. That's just stupid. Who brings snakes on fishing trips? Like, for real. For real. For real! Look at that, I think that's creepy! I don't want like snakes! Snakes are freaking creepy! Bleah. Well guys, we have finally made it here to Cass. And last year when I was here, this was like opening day. And this creek, the river here was like shoulder to shoulder. So um, there's only a few people here right now. So this could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Um, I'll walk up here see if I see any fish, but uh, today's Saturday and they just gold rush stocked this on Thursday and uh, one of my subscribers said they put a few tigers in here as well, mixed in with the goldies. So they put like 950 pounds of trout when they stocked it Thursday. So uh, we're just going to walk around here a little bit, see if any uh, fish are biting. We got a few gold trout right here in front of us. I don't know if they're willing to bite or not. They look a little kind of, kind of finicky right now. 
Although, middle of the day, I don't know if a spinner is the key, but I just want to try to cover some water for right now and see if anything's willing to bite. But I'm hoping we get a goldie today. Fingers crossed. I would love a golden trout. Didn't drive four hours up here for nothing. But let's keep our fingers crossed that they that we be that we can get one tuned in here. Well, you took move up the river here a little bit. As usual, the gold trout aren't biting. How kind of what I figure? They've been pressured pretty good. They stalked two days ago, so. Of course, a lot of y'all that fish gold trout know that they don't bite worth a damn anyway. I'll just try to cover some water. I might throw some uh, throw some yellow jackets at them, maybe. That's what I've seen the Posca people catch them on, but we'll see. Okay. I think that might be one right there. But, so I'll keep grinding out, but I heard there might be some tigers in here as well, so. Also, we're just up here having a good time and just mess around a little bit. Ah. Current strong. We got a good fall here from one of these little gold trout. See if it can uh, see if it can do that again. Just just working through that current real good. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right by. I'm not looking at it. Yeah, they're right. They're looking at it. They're right, legit right there. Trick is to like pitch it out there and uh, just let it swing right in front of them. Well, we're kind of like right behind them a little bit, but. Pitch one about right there. Let's see if they react to it. Well, there's two more right there. Let's see if we can get a few. See right there, those yellow fish? Let's see if they'll chase it. Yeah, but they're legit right there. We'll see if they can't get a few of them. These gold trucks, you're looking at this worm, and like, I'll put it right in front of them, and they'll swim right up to it, and they'll just dart off. I'm telling you, these fish are frustrating. Be a miracle if I catch one. I couldn't see my worm in that cast. Of course, that water's in there. It's... But as you can tell, those yellow fish right there, you probably can't see them through the, well, if you can see them through the GoPro or not, but like those yellow fish, like right there where my rod's pointing, there's y'all golden trout. And we're gonna see if we can catch a few. I just want one. what I said last time I came up here for Gold Rush. Dude, is that, I, I see a tiger. I think uh, that might be one of the tiger trout. I might be seeing another one of those. Uh, I've seen one trout down there that's not a golden, so it might be one of the tiger trout they put in here. I don't know, but I'd be cool if I could a tiger trout. I'd take a tiger trout, too. We're gonna keep trying at them. We're gonna keep trying at them. We got a little trout here on some salmon eggs. Not kind of we got. We got a little little bow. Not the not the goldie reactor, but uh, I just uh, threw some uh, salmon eggs in there. And yeah, I just throwing some uh, yellow jacket uh, salmon eggs on them and. Uh, Little rainbow hit it, but uh, maybe that'll, maybe this will, uh, maybe this might be the ticket. I don't know, but uh, get this little bow here on the stringer. I mean. These little book rainbow. Throw another first little friend in there, which would be the gold. What I was doing is I had like like four good split shots on there. You need the split shots today because the water's real, uh, the current's real good. And what I did is I just put like three of these yellow jackets on there. 
and I was just uh, bottom bouncing it and he grabbed it. So uh, let's throw back in here in front of these gold, see if one of these little, uh, if one of these little gold trout here comes and gets it. I see another little rainbow down there. All right, that wasn't the best to catch. I didn't uh, really get down to where those fish were that well. But yeah, I just kind of try to put it right where the fish were to the best of my abilities. <sighs> of course, them seeing me catch that rainbow, they're probably not gonna bite no more now. But let's keep throwing around here so we can make something happen. Another little rainbow here. Like, if I could ever stop catching these little rainbows. If I get one of these golds to bite. Alright, let's put this little puppy on the stringer here. Joe fly. Mm. We'll have to spray paint these guys yellow. That way we saw you caught gold trout. I'm just playing. But West Virginia's got the dinks when it, when it comes to the rainbows. I don't think these state stock. They want like some organization stock these because they don't look like state stock trout at all. All right, guys, they want to head toward the bridge down there. As you tell a few people here for Gold Rush, if you know, if you, uh, I know a few of you guys, a few of my followers here, uh, live here in West Virginia, so, uh, you know, trout fishing here, what when you know, gold rush is a big deal up here, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk on down here to see if I can see a few more, but I think I might head down to the bridge. I'm only seeing, like, a few scattered out in here between here and the bridge, so, uh, I'll probably make a straight shot for the bridge, but I want a goldie today, so that's what I want, but... We'll see, they've been making fun of me today. All I can get is the rainbows, so that's all we can do. We got a gold, YouTube, we got a gold. We got a gold, YouTube. Come here, guys, we got a golden trout. We got our first gold trout of the gold rush, baby. Let's go. Get in the boat, yeah. Oh my gosh. Beautiful gold. Oh my God, I'm so hyped right now. This is what we came here for. The elusive golden trout. Let's freaking go, guys. Now, of course, now there's a bunch of people here now that they see me catch a fish, now they're gonna come flock over down here. Uh saw a little buddy, you're gonna be suffered. I love golden trout. Yeah. The best one of the day is a gold too. Yes! Oh my gosh. We've been working all day just for this one gold, golden trout. Let's go. All right, let's go, guys. Gold trout here is sitting right here on this eddy line right here. So uh, let's just throw down in there and see if they can't pick one up. I'm just hyped right now, boys. I am just hyped. That gets the blood pumping right there. I talked to the dude earlier. He said, don't cut your luck on these gold trout because they won't bite. We got a little dinky one right here. Let's see if this one, oh. right there. We might, let's see if we get some underwater footage of them. All right, guys, we got a few golds right here in front of us. We'll see if we can try to catch a few here on the fly. I'd be cool if I can top this off here with a top today off here with one on the fly rod. Be pretty cool, eh? All right, we need a little more line out there. I suck at fly fishing, guys. I'm a complete goon at it. Uh, let's Ugh. All right. Let's 
think it's underwater footage here. <laughs> We got two little active goldies right here. Let's see if we can uh, just catch one. I think I might have to pull one out here real quick. Of course, when I turn my camera on, then they're gonna stop hitting. So like, you gotta get like right in their like right in their face. There's one up here too. Of course, I'm right on top of them, so not the best, not the ideal way to catch trout, of course, but we'll, we'll see if I can catch them, though. We got to go to YouTube. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, well, we got five, so we need just one more to tag out. I've just been playing this fish for a good little bit, but yeah, we got them on a stringer. We're gonna pop them on a stringer here real quick. Just need one more, and we'll have our limit up here. Ah, dude. Yeah. I might be able to. You got it good too, buddy. Ah. All right. Well, guys, we kind of we quite didn't get a limit yet, but um, we're gonna wrap it up for today. We'll come back here in the morning and uh, see if we can't pull a few more out. Uh, but uh, we got two rainbow, uh, three gold. Uh, this gold here is actually donated to me by another fisherman, so we caught four fish in total. Not a bad day of trout fishing. And uh, we'll take us back to the cabin and we'll cook these up. Well, guys, it's going to wrap up the fishing for today. Managed to get five. Um, one was donated to us. I caught one and then uh, my ride got, and my parents came to pick me up about right as soon as I pulled the fifth fish in. So I didn't have time to stay and catch that six fish I needed for the limit up here. But that's okay. But um, I will say this. If we get 30 likes on this video, I'm going to see what I can do to come back up here and uh, do some more trout fishing because I like, I like the West Virginia trout fishing a whole lot better than Virginia trout fishing. Um, this sea, like spring season is awesome up here because they do like once a week stockings like in a lot of the creeks around here. And they just did the they did the gold rush stocking there where I was at the Greenbrier about, uh, let's see, they stocked it on Thursday and today is Saturday. They stocked it two days ago, so... Um, and there's still a good amount of fish there. I mean, they got pressured like hell over the past two days. I mean, we, I'd say we did pretty good for the amount of uh, um, people that were down there and the amount of pressure it's got. And, you know, gold trout is hard to catch regardless. But, and all in all, let's say we had a good day. We got the two bonus rainbows, which I really don't care about that much because I catch plenty of rainbows all the time. But, uh, yeah, um, if you like more trout content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.